Now let's get to Little Falls, where CBS 2's Naveen Dhaliwal is covering things from there. Naveen? Yeah, Christine, I'm at on Riverview Circle, and this is what neighbors here are dealing with. The Passaic River flooding their yards, flooding their basements, and despite all the preps, they'll be sleeping uneasy tonight. That's if they sleep at all. In Norman Valdez's basement. Uh, right now, the water is here, right here. The water from the Passaic River is trickling steadily through the back door. I was able to seal everything. However, you, you said this? I do. From Valdez's back deck, you can see the scope of the flooding as the river has taken over his backyard. We are like um, two feet. This is the unwelcoming common sight in several North New Jersey towns where the Passaic flows, including Patterson. I'm just stressed out and worried. Over here. Don't know where we're going to go. Flood waters on this road surround Ganesha Betts' apartment. We had to speak to her by cell phone. Oh, my basement, I can't even go down here. It's so much water. Patterson city officials say 18 streets are closed and more closures could come depending on when the river crests. All our swift water assets and flood assets right now are at the ready waiting for any additional calls that may come in. Right now, majority of the streets that are affected by the flood waters have been closed. And residents are also watching and listening and ready. Just an event, an emergency happened. We have a backpack, maybe like a couple of weeks of clothes and things like that. Now, Patterson officials say if you need to evacuate overnight, the fire department is ready. Just give them a call and they will help you out. Back here in Little Falls, I'm actually standing next to Norman's house and he is watching, he's waiting, and he wants to see what this river does. In Little Falls, Naveen Dhaliwal, CBS 2 News. All right, Naveen, such a stressful time for all these folks. Thank you.